Hello everyone, this is Ms. Serrano, and we're going to go through how to find a quadratic regression on the TI Inspire Graphing Calculator. First, you want to go to the home screen. If the home screen doesn't appear when you turn on the calculator, then press the on button in the upper right hand corner of the keypad. You'll need to create a new document, so press 1 on the home screen. After you click on new document, the calculator will ask you if you want to save a previously unsaved document. Just click no because we don't care what was there before. The calculator will ask you what type of document you need. We're going to select four for add list and spreadsheet. When you select this option, the screen will look very similar to an Excel document. First, we need to define the columns of the list. For the sake of simplicity, we will name the top of the first column as X and the top of the second column as Y. Skip that second row. That's reserved for a given equation. We don't know the equation yet, so just skip it. Now we're going to move under the X column to the third cell down. For this example, we're going to type in the numbers 1 through 12. Make sure that you hit enter after each number, especially after that last number. Otherwise, the calculator won't recognize all of your data. Then use the arrow keys to get to the top of the data of the Y values. In this example, I decided to use the average monthly high temperatures for Atlantic City, New Jersey, because why not? Again, you'll need to hit enter after each number, otherwise you may receive a mismatch error later on. Chances are you just missed a number in the list or you forgot to hit enter after one of the terms. Next, we'll need to add a page to our document. To do that, hit the control button and then the dock key. A new menu will pop up. This time, select five for add data and statistics. A screenshot of your data will appear labeled by the X values. Listen, these dots are totally random. Don't worry about it. We're going to put it in order. You need to move your arrow to the bottom of the screen to highlight where it says click to add a variable. Click it and then click X. Next, you want to move that cursor to the middle left of your screen and you want to get to the correct spot, a box will appear, click on it and select Y for that axis. You should see a parabolic shape appear with your data, but it doesn't tell you the equation yet, so this is what you do. Hit menu, choose 4 for analyze, 6 for regression, and 4 for show quadratic. You will see a quadratic regression equation appear for this data. You'll see that the problem may not hit all the data points or the equation has weird decimals. Look, it's doing its best. Give it a break. You can go ahead and round your numbers as necessary for your final answer. That's it. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Good luck, and thanks for watching.